Hello everyone, welcome to Limited Academy and today I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'll be talking about the class 10th chapter number is I think quadratic equation and this is a previous year question that is of question that is of 2023, right? So this is 2023 paper. From that, there's a question number 37, which is a case study. In this, there is a question. It is based on quadratic equation. So let's start. While designing the school here book a teacher asks the student that the length and the width of the particular photo is increased by x unit each to double the area of the photo okay now the original photo is 18 centimeter long and 20 and 12 centimeter wide based on the above information answer the following question so you need to answer the following question first part write a L, write an algebraic equation depicting the above information okay so this is a question given to you in this, you need to fight, uh, first write the uh, equation, right? Algebraic equation. So, what you can do is, because it is increased by x, so 18 plus x, you can write x plus 18 or 18 plus x, both will work. And because this is an area, so this will be the length and this will be the width, 12 plus x, right? So, multiplied by, this is the length, multiplied by breadth, that is, x plus 12 right and the original area would be 18 into 12 but because this is increased by x okay so it is increased by x so it is written here the double the area of the photo so you need to double that means twice the area of 12 into 18 which is the original one so this is the equation write an algebraic equation to depict this so this is the equation write the corresponding quadratic equation in standard form so to write in the standard form what we'll do we'll use the uh, multiply it so x into x is x square x multiply by 12 that is give you 12 x then 18 multiply by x will give you 18 x and 18 multiply by 12 so 18 multiply by 12 basically 18 multiply by 12 you can do it here so this will basically 8 times 2 is 6, 16 and then 1, 2 times 2 is 2 plus 1, 3 and then 8 times 1 is 8 and 1. So this will give you a 6, then 11, 1, so it is 2, 1, 6, right? So this will give you area of, sorry, so what you will do is, uh, uh, just a minute, so this will give you uh, the area as 2, 1, 6, right? So multiply 2, 1, 6 will be given as, so it will also be same, so it is 2 into 2, 1, 6, done. So 2 into 2, 1, 6 will give you 4, 3, 2, because when you multiply this together, it will 4, 3, 2, and this is a, these are the like terms of x square plus 30x plus 2, 1, 6 will give you 4, 32, okay. This will be 432. Done. Now here, you can send this to this side. So this will be x square plus 30x plus 216 minus 432 is equals to 0. So when you subtract it, obviously it is double of 216. So this will give you 216, but it will be negative because 432 is negative. So x square plus 30x is equals to 0. Right. So this is the standard form. Okay, so this is the standard form here. Yeah. So this is the answer of this part and this is the answer of this part. Now, what should be the new dimension of this enlarged photo? For that, you need to solve the Cartier equation by any of the methods. So I am using, uh, completing the square method here. So in this method, what we do generally, we make the factor of 2, 1, 6. So if you make the factor of 2, 1, 6, it's multiplied by it will be, 2 times 1 and it is 8, 1, 2, 1, 0, 8. If you multiply it by 2 again, it is 5 and then 4. If you again multiply it by 2, it will give you 27. Then multiply by 3, it will be 9. Then again multiply by 3, so it will be 3, then it will be 1. So by this way, you will get factors. Now you need to make a factor such a way that you get 30, okay, by adding or subtracting. So in this case, what you will do, this is 3, 3 is a 9, okay, then 9 times 2 is 18, 18 times 2 is 36, 1 is 36, and then 3 times 2 is 6. 
So we get the two number and if we subtract this two number, you will get 30. So we got the two numbers. Okay. Yaha par ek problem hai. Yaha par you will get two numbers 18 and 12 also. Okay. How? Like 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12 and then 3 times 2, 3 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18. But this will not give the correct answer. So aapko 18 or 12 factor nahi banana hai. Is case mein. Done. Now what you will do is you know that your equation is x square plus 30x minus 216 is equals to 0. So you will make two factors that is x square plus 36x minus 6x plus 216 that is equals to 0. Now here what is the common part that is x. So what is left x plus 36 is left. So write x plus 36 as it is done by this way. You will get two factors. You will get one factor x plus 36 and plus x plus 36. Now, what should I multiply here to get minus 6x minus 216? So, obviously, it is minus 6 because if you multiply it again back, you will get the same term which is written above, right? So, by this way, you will again make two factors by these two terms. So, the common factor is x plus 36. So, what is left here? It is left is x. Here, it is minus 6. So, these are the two factors which we got. Now comparing it with 0, so if you compare it with 0, so x minus 6 is equal to 0, shift this to this side, so x will be equal to 6. Now if you compare x plus 36 equal to 0, so x will be equal to, if you send it to other side, it will be minus 36. But can you imagine that any uh, dimension which is, or any length which is negative, so we cannot select this one, okay, so we will select only 6, done. Now, if you increase the length by 6, so if this is 6 and this is 18, right? So what will be the total length? So I'm writing here, the total length will be equal to, the total length of the new frame will be equal to 18 plus 6, that is 24 centimeter. And the width will now be, because this is 6, so 6 plus 12, so 12 plus 6, that is equals to 18 centimeter, right? So this is what we got the dimension, okay? Now here, what should be the new dimension? New dimension is 12 into 18. Now they're asking that, uh, can any rational number value can of x can make the new area equal to 220? This answer is simple, no, because if suppose, x into x is equal to 220, right? So x will be equal to 220 under root, which is a decimal number, which is a decimal number. How I know this? Because this is not a perfect square. So this will give you this decimal number. So decimal number is not rational. That's why in this case, it is not possible. That's why this is not possible. So answer is no. I hope you understand this. So keep watching and Please subscribe so that you can get most important question of class 10th mathematics and science uh, and also share with your friends so that uh, they can also be benefited. Thank you and keep watching.